This is Cat's Diamond Painting. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you joined me here before. I'm here today because I am packing to go on holiday and I am going to a caravan where I'm hoping to have lots of relaxing downtime um, and I'm going to be taking my diamond paintings with me so I need to pack up some accessories to go with me. I'll have a different video coming out at some point as well where I kit up my, um, my paintings that I'm going to take with me but for now I'm focusing on packing up my accessories. So, first of all, I'm not actually going to show you, but a couple of things that are essentials for me that I'll quickly mention is I diamond paint on an easel, so the easel is coming with me, also my A3 light pad and overhead light that goes on the top of my easel, because the lighting isn't great in the caravan where I'm staying, and also just I like to have those anywhere, I like to have it really bright. So these are quite big bulky items, for me they are essential though, because I have neck and back and shoulder issues. If I don't have those, I won't be able to diamond paint for more than a few minutes anyway, so I may as well not bother. So I'm going to be taking those. Um, but what I'm gonna be putting in here is all the little bits and bobs that I use as well. So I got this bag from Timu. I did an accessories haul from there recently, so if you wanna check that out, it is on the channel. And I got this bag and I thought it would be perfect for this purpose. I am a small shop fan. I buy most of my accessories from small shops. But once in a while it's nice to see what else is out there and I was quite impressed with the range of accessories Timu had for such a good price. So yeah, if that's your cup of tea, go check it out. So, I think what I'll do is I will go through the things that I consider to be essentials that I absolutely definitely have to have if I'm going to dime paint comfortably on this holiday. And then I'll show you a couple of things as well that are just sort of nice to have that I like to use but you don't need to have. So... First of all, what am I going to start with? I think, well, let's start with the most basic, obvious thing of all, pens. Okay. I like diamond painting pens. <laughs> and I know that every kit that you buy will come with a pen, often with a comfort grip, and lots of people are perfectly happy with those, which is great. Personally, I find that my fingers get quite sore and crampy if I use those for long because they're a bit too thin for me. I also don't like really chunky pens, I'm quite particular. So I've built up a collection of pens that are in the sort of thin to medium line of custom pens, mostly resin, I believe. Um, and I'm gonna pick out two or three to go with me. And no, you don't need to have as many as me. <laughs> I've clearly got a little bit obsessed with them. And I have some random stuff in here as well, like a tough brush for <laughs> wiping down drills. Um, but it does genuinely help me to have a few that I can switch between so that if my hands feel sore, I can change it up to a different shape. So which shall I take? Well, I think I'll have to take this one because it's pretty much my favorite pen. I use this a lot. This is from Lassen Lave Works. Um, and I got this a couple of months ago, bought it on the Etsy shop and had it sent to my stack readdress and then had it forwarded on to me here in the UK. And I just love this pen. The shape of it is so perfectly comfortable for me. So that one has to come. And then, hmm. Maybe this one as well, because this is another real favorite. So this is very much on the slim side, which suits me very well. It's very nice and comfortable in my hand. And yeah, that would be another good one to come with me. And then one more, one more. I do have some cheaper ones in here as well. So if you want to look into pens that take you a bit beyond what comes in your kit, but not spend too much on them, I have options here. Like for instance, this is from Timu. Um, so yeah. I have ones from Crafted Makes in the UK, so they are not as cheap as Timu, but you won't have to pay such huge shipping amounts. Um, but another one I've been enjoying a lot recently is this one from Say Plus Beaux Atours. So I think I'm gonna take this one. It's another really nice petite one that just suits my hand well. So I think that is the one. Right. So I'm gonna put those in here and I think, I think this middle pocket would be a good place for them might give the bag a bit of structure. So there they go. 
And then another thing to go in that pocket, I think, is a pair of tweezers. So I have this pair here. I think I'm going to get a fresh pair out because I've lost the guard for these. And if I put these in without a guard on them, these, these stabby bits will come through the back. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have lots of tweezers, so that's fine. Tweezers will come with a lot of dime painting kits. Some companies only send them with squares, some send them with all. So I, I've got plenty to choose from. Um, and they're quite a basic, but I do find them incredibly useful. So to me, they're an essential. I use them for two things. One is if I put a drill on the painting and either I notice it's got a blemish I don't like, like a little hole in it, I hate that. <laughs> or if I put it on wonky and it's hard to straighten or something like that, I will use tweezers to pick it off. The other thing is I use it for cleaning out my pen when I need to change out whatever I've got in there. So they can go in there too. And then I'm going to do that up. The next thing for me that I would consider an essential is some trays that go beyond what you get in a kit. Lots of people are including some really good trays in their toolkits now, and that is brilliant. They don't work so well for me because they tend to all be on the small side. I don't like a huge tray, but equally I do like one that's got a bit of space. So I've got two trays here that you may have seen before on the channel because I use them a lot. I buy a lot of trays, I like to try them all and see what suits me, but then I tend to stick with the ones that work best for me for actually using them. So this one I've had several months, it's from Oraloa. Um, I keep checking their website to see if they have another colorway in um, because I just, I love this tray so much. I would like to get more. This one is fairly basic as you can see. It's not got a lid or a stopper or anything like that, but it's really sturdy. It's got a good height to the walls so I can shake drills without too many flying out. And it's just a really good combination of narrow enough to hold in my hand, which I often do when I'm done painting, um, but also it's got a good amount of space. The other one that I'm going to take is a bigger one because I do like to have a big one on hand as well for when I do a large section of colour blocking. This is from Bijou Bliss Designs. I think it's Designs or Bijou Bliss. <laughs> they're on Etsy, they're in the States, so this is another one I got through my parcel forwarding service. They have this really innovative design with these magnets, which is really great. So rather than having to slide or clip on the lid, you just put it down. Um, and they've got a stopper with magnets as well. And this one, it's, it's a bit too big for me to comfortably hold, but if I'm doing a large section of color blocking, then I can get more drills in here and just have that on, the surf, on my table instead. So I'm just gonna take those two with me. There are lots and lots of good trays out there to try. I'm not saying that these are the best, they're just the ones that are working best for me currently. So yeah, if you find the trays that come with kits a bit too small or fiddly, just have a look and see what's out there because some of the options are really inexpensive but can still make a big, big difference. Okay, the next thing for me, which is one that probably no one who knows me or the channel will be surprised to see in here, is some putty. <laughs> Again, this is an essential for me. It's not necessarily an essential that you need to have when you're starting to diamond paint because all kits will come with some wax and it does the job. For me, I just find that putty does the job that bit better. And of course I use my own one because I make it exactly how I like it. Um, but yeah, if you haven't gone beyond pink wax yet and, and tried to see what else is out there, I'm not trying to hype up my own, although, you know, check out my Etsy if you're interested, but there are lots of really good putties or alternative waxes out there. Etsy is a great place to check for them. So many different shops selling things that are just that little bit different to each other so you can find out what really suits you. And the advantage of things like this is generally people use them because they last a lot longer in your pen. So whereas you might have to faff around changing wax all the time, um, these, they'll last a lot longer. Also, they can be more flexible. So some putties like mine will work well with things like ABs. So by taking these, I don't need anything else to handle any kind of drills that I work with. So I'm gonna pop those in there. The next thing that is an essential for me would be cover minders. So again, a lot of the things that are essential to me might be things that other people do just fine without. For me, I work on an easel, so I'm working at an angle. I put a strip of release paper along my painting um, and then I leave the plastic cover 
on most of the painting. So I just have one strip covered with release paper, a little buffer layer of release paper, and then all of the rest is still covered by the original plastic sheet. And I do that so that I can recover the painting if I don't finish a section. So for me, I need a cover minder to hold that plastic cover out of the way because otherwise gravity is gonna mean it's flopping down continually. So I'm gonna pick out a couple of cover minders as well. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think about what will go well with the paintings that I'm taking as well. I think I might take this heart, which is just, it's, it's just cool. It's glitzy and cool. I think that might have come with a Diamond Art Club toolkit. And then, um, I might take this one. Or maybe this one actually, from Kitting Up Kitten that I showed recently. Or maybe both, who am I kidding? Right, they're all gonna stick together, but that's fine. And I'm gonna put those in this little section here. So again, there's something that a lot of the time you will get free with toolkits and you only need the one. I just, I collect them because I've, I've had quite a lot of toolkits where they've come free and I've bought a few extras to supplement them over the years. So, that's a few things in there and there's still plenty of room in here. The next thing for me is some spare multi-placers. Again, not an essential for everyone. Lots of people very happily single place. I like to multi-place, so I'm just gonna put in a few extras just in case any of them break. I use plastic multi-placers a lot just because I have a lot of them and I like to have places on all of my pens and not have to switch between them. So I, it's, it's just helpful to have quite a few of them so they can go in there too. Um, I've already mentioned release paper, so that is of course another essential for me. I will be taking a pack of release paper. I've just got a few to hand here, but I'm actually, when I pack up my easel and light pad and drill storage, I'll find a place where I can keep these flat in there. So these are just here for example's sake. So as I say, I use them um, to gradually work my way up a painting one row at a time. So I don't need that many of them. Um, some people like to cover their whole painting in release paper. Some people don't use release paper at all. For me, it's, it's not that I have to have them, that I can't work any other way, but it's what I'm used to and what I like. So I will take those along with me too. And then the last thing that for me is a real essential is clips. And again, this is probably a lot to do with the fact I work on an easel. So I've got a little bag here ready to put my small ones. But it is also, I find when I do occasionally work flat, very helpful to clip my painting to my light pad so it's not moving around. So I have these little crafting clips. I got these on Amazon couple of years ago now and I think I paid about six pound and got hundreds of them <laughs> and I only even use a few so that they only open a little bit um, so they only work to clip to something thin like a light pad but they do that job very well and they're very small and unobtrusive so they're really convenient so I'm going to pop those in here just to keep them organized and then I also want some slightly larger clips um, so I'm going to put these ones on. These again are great for clipping the painting to the release paper a little bit more firmly. And I have one other kind of clip that I'm going to put in too. So I also have these really big beastie ones. Again, I got them on Amazon a couple of years ago. I think I did end up breaking all of the first set I got, so I bought another set. These are really, really heavy duty clips. I think they might be called blanket clips or something like that. But these ones are big enough to clip to my easel, which is a lot thicker. So they are also really useful if that's the way that I need to connect my painting to the easel. Because it varies, you know, depending on what stage I'm at with the painting. So I'll just tuck those in as well. So those are my essentials that I think I would really struggle to diamond paint without if I didn't have them. I'll probably think of something else after I finish filming as well, but I, I definitely think those are all the things that I need to manage. I also have just a small number of non-essentials. I'll call them my nice to haves, which are just, well, things that are nice to have that I do use regularly, but I definitely could manage without. 
So one is I'm gonna take this little pot to use as a trash drill pot. In previous years, I think I've got an egg cup out of the cupboard <laughs> and used that, um, but I just like to have a little pot to hand for any trash drills. I'm a fussy diamond painter. I tend to reject a lot of drills. Um, so yeah, it's essential to me to have something nearby. And this is only small, so I may as well pop it in. I also find it very helpful to have a straightener. Um, so you often get these free when you buy things like storage cases, but you can also buy them individually. And it's just a hard plastic piece that you can use to sort of go between the lines of your diamonds and put a little pressure on if needs be. So if they've gone wonky, you can just straighten them out. And I'm quite particular, like I'm not the neatest diamond painter in the world, but I do like them to look how I want them to look. So I do quite regularly go over them and straighten them. If I didn't have this with me, I'd, I'd be fine. I'd just crack on with it, but I may as well pop it in. And then I also have a drill grinder. Again, this is in the, the nice to have camp because you can definitely manage without. I, for a long time, I used to use two of those little green trays that you get the basic trays that come with things like kits from Amazon and you can put they, they slot on top of each other so you can put the drills in one put the other tray on and then smush them together and they break up the drills well I find it a little awkward because they sort of pop out at all angles so I invested in a drill grinder a few months ago and I do prefer it it does tend to scratch the drills a tiny bit so I only do it as much as I have to but it's again just it, if you get a color that has really, really clumped drills, I don't want to be faffing around. I want a way to grind them up, even if that means that they don't look quite as pretty. And then lastly, I have got a little roller. So this came on, um, I think it actually came on one of those pens from Timu that I showed you before. But then I found I liked the pen size, so I was gonna use that as an actual pen. So what I did was I took an old pen that I got somewhere else and I super glued this in, um, just so that it would be nice and sturdy. So yeah, it's just a little mini roller. I'm gonna be taking one of my Diamond Art Club squares along. Um, and I find that sometimes with those, because the drills fit together really, really tightly, like once they're all in place, they won't pop off. I've never had a sort of popping drill problem, but sometimes because they're quite tight, if you're going quickly, you don't quite press it down all the way. You can have ones that aren't totally flush with the canvas. So I just like to go over with this quickly to sort that out. So there you have it. So these as well as my easel and my light pad and my overhead light, and of course my drills in their storage trays and my canvases, should be, unless I've forgotten something major, all that I need to diamond paint happily on my holiday. I'm leaving kitting up my canvases really last minute, so I actually haven't entirely decided which ones I'm gonna take. I have a good idea, um, but yeah, you'll see that in another video, as I said. But regardless of whether I take round or squares or whatever, this should cover all my bases, I think. I hope. <laughs> So I hope you found this helpful. Let me just do this up to make sure it all fits properly. Yeah, this is a, a nice storage bag for this kind of job. Although it's slightly awkward to do up at the side. I think that's me trying to reach around a tripod as much as anything. Okay. <laughs> It took me a little bit. I'd unzipped it too far and it got a little stuck. And that is, of course, the, the price you pay, for one of a better word, of going cheap with these things. They don't necessarily work the smoothest, but it is up now. And that is a really nice, neat, contained collection of accessories, which I actually have plenty of room in still. So if I think of anything else, I can add more. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. So let me know what you think. What do you agree with and disagree with out of what I consider to be essential and what I don't? I mean, at the end of the day, the only real essentials are what comes with a kit, right? Most companies send tool kits that give you everything you need if you're a beginner. And most of us work very happily with them when we are a beginner. But then over time, as you get more used to using things that work just that little bit better, I suppose they, they feel essential because it, it it would then detract from your diamond painting experience to not have them, I guess is the way I'm looking at it. 
So that's what I mean by essentials, my kind of slightly spoiled by the things I have essentials. <laughs> and as I said, some nice to haves in there as well. I hope you found that helpful and maybe it's given you some ideas um, for things that might help you with your own diamond painting. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again here soon. Bye bye.